Welcome to our online Lenten Retreat. I'm Vanita Hampton Wright, author of Days of Deepening Friendship for the Woman Who Wants Authentic Life with God. You'll find on this website the book chapter that's related to each of our eight sessions. Today's session is for the third week of Lent, and our question is, where is the Holy Spirit in this conversation? Now, when I was growing up, quite a few people, church people, talked about the Holy Ghost, which didn't really encourage me to interact with the Holy Spirit. Even as an adult, I've often thought that anything the Holy Spirit did must be sort of magical or out of the ordinary. But God created ordinary and works within the ordinary most of the time. When Jesus' time on earth is coming to a close, he tells his disciples that the Holy Spirit will come and be their helper, enabling them to understand God's wisdom and to remember what they have been taught. In the 12th chapter of Mark's Gospel, Jesus has a conversation with a scribe. Now this scribe, scribe seems to understand some of what Jesus is saying. And so Jesus' reply to the man in verse 34 is, you are not far from the kingdom of God. In another similar situation, Jesus notes that anyone who recognizes the truth is given that, that ability by God's Spirit. Now, we Christians believe that when we are baptized into the faith, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell within us. Whereas God the Son dwelt here as a physical person for a limited time and with a limited number of people, the Holy Spirit is present always and transcends boundaries of space and time. How is the Spirit participating with us during our season of Lenten prayer? Well, when we don't know what to pray or how to pray, the Spirit within us expresses our needs and desires to God. If all you can do is cry or sigh or pace the room, the Holy Spirit translates these expressions into prayer. The Spirit helps us remember. I like to think of the Holy Spirit as our story keeper. Most families have a story keeper, you know, the one who collects mementos and puts together the scrapbooks and photo albums. We don't want anything important to be lost or forgotten. And we want the grandchildren and great-grandchildren to have a sense of the larger family story. In the family of God, the Holy Spirit preserves all the bits and pieces, collects the events, makes sense of every scene and how it fits the whole story. One of the primary tasks of the Old Testament prophets was to recall for the people all of God's actions in their history. These prophets were filled with the Holy Spirit in order to recount the story and thus encourage the people and bring them back to faith. So as you pray your way through, through the remaining weeks of Lent, ask the Holy Spirit to bring to your memory the many wonderful acts of God upon your life. Sit in a quiet place and page through the spiritual scrapbook and listen once again to the grand story of God's people and of you, God's child. Here's our spiritual exercise for the week. The Holy Spirit sometimes speaks to us through others, such as a favorite teacher or a wise older woman we trust completely. If there's such a person in your life, make some time to talk this week. If no one is available, then imagine such a person and spend some time this week in conversation. During that conversation, take out an imaginary scrapbook that is the history of your life with God. Linger on particular events or memories, discussing them with God. Or you might try to describe the many ways that prayer expresses itself in your life. Traditional prayers or those in your own words, songs you sing or music you hum, tears or laughter, sighs or silence. Identify the many feelings represented in these prayers, and also the many desires. Also, you might dwell on a specific passage of scripture. It could be a favorite psalm or one of the lectionary readings for the week. Ask your wise helper questions about this scripture. Explain what that scripture means to you and why. 
I hope your week is blessed, and I look forward to our next session. You can read ahead if you like. The book chapter for next week will be posted. Also, you can post your comments and questions here on the website, and I'll be happy to respond to them. That's at loyalapress.com slash Lent Retreat. And please remember that the purpose of any Lenten devotion or practice is to renew and strengthen your friendship with God.